All right, this is a stereo that I had from the 90s. And I want to show you a couple mods that did to it. First of all, line in jack. Line in. All right. And then a USB charger. So we'll focus and then I'll zoom in. There's the stats of the charger. All right, and the stereo is a. Let's see if I can get this here. Probably can't. They're going to be upside down, so I'll just do this. It is an Emerson AD2452 model radio. It's an AT battery, so 12 volts. And it was manufactured August of 1995. It's my first real stereo. It still works. The radio works. The tape player does not. But I need a long screwdriver to get inside these screws right here. And let me show you the inside of the mod. I haven't secured this on here because I'm working on it right now, but uh, it's just one of these little 12 volt car adapters you can buy. This is Vivid R. I tried this one first, but it, it had a fit. Just with these two wires here go to the CD player. It's had a CD player. And I put it. Uh, it failed, so I took it out. And there's your line out wires. I got it secured with tape temporarily. And that goes, probably gonna be backwards, but the headphone jack right there. So, um, yeah, it does work. It's just a QC. Quality control pass logo or a sticker. And then you turn it on by hitting the CD. See? There's a little light on the thing. It's tape, CD, and radio. Now I'm going to plug a power bank into it show you it charges. Turn it on, light comes on, and we're charging. This other one here, like I said before, had a fit. This light would dim, and I'm not hitting on Viv Vivitar products, but no, I like this one because it lights up with a white LED, but it didn't work for this. So yeah, it's working. Let's see how long it continues. So, thanks for watching. And stay tuned for more. Maybe I'm going to screenshot.